The Workers' World Party WWP is a revolutionary Marxist-Leninist political party in the United States. It was founded in 1959 by a group led by Sam Marcy of the Socialist Workers' Party SWP. Marcy and his followers split from the SWP in 1958 over a series of long-standing differences, among them their support for Henry A. Wallace's Progressive Party in 1948, the positive view they held of the Chinese Revolution led by Mao Zedong, and their defense of the 1956 Soviet intervention in Hungary, all of which the SWP opposed. The WWP describes itself as a party that has since its founding, "...supported the struggles of all oppressed peoples." It has recognized the right of nations to self-determination, including the nationally oppressed peoples inside the United States. It supports affirmative action as necessary in the fight for equality and it opposes all forms of racism and religious bigotry. The WWP and its affiliate Youth Against War and Fascism YAWF were noted for their consistent defense of the Black Panthers, the Weather Underground, the Vietnam Veterans Against the War and the Puerto Rican Independence Movement. The WWP was also an early advocate of gay rights and remains especially active in this area. The WWP has published Workers' World since 1959. The newspaper has been a weekly since 1974. Topic. History The WWP had its origins in the global class war tendency, led by Sam Marcy and Vincent Copeland, within the SWP. This group crystallized during the 1948 presidential election when they urged the SWP to back Henry Wallace's Progressive Party campaign, rather than field their own candidates. Throughout the 1950s, the global class war tendency expressed positions at odds with official SWP policy, categorizing the Korean War as a class, rather than imperialist, conflict, support of the People's Republic of China as a workers' state, if not necessarily supporting the Mao Zedong leadership, and supporting the suppression of the Hungarian Revolution by the Soviet Union in 1956. The global class war tendency left the SWP in early 1959. Although they would later abandon Trotskyism, in their International Workers' Day issue number three of their new periodical the group proclaimed, We are the Trotskyists. We stand 100% with all the principled positions of Leon Trotsky, the most revolutionary communist since Lenin. The nascent group appears to have organized as the Workers' World Party by February 1960. At its inception, the WWP was concentrated among the working class in Buffalo, Youngstown, Seattle and New York. A youth organization, first known as the Anti-Fascist Youth Committee and later as Youth Against War and Fascism YAWF, was created in April 1962. From the beginning, the WWP and YAWF concentrated their energies on street demonstrations. Early campaigns focused on support of Patrice Lumumba, opposition to the House Un-American Activities Committee and against racial discrimination in housing. They conducted the first protest against American involvement in Vietnam on August 2, 1962. Their opposition to the war also included the tactics of draft resistance and gi resistance. After organizing demonstrations at Fort Sill, Oklahoma in support of a soldier being tried for possessing anti-war literature, they founded the American Servicemen's Union, intended to be a mass organization of American soldiers. However, the group was completely dominated by the WWP and YAWF. During the late 1960s and 1970s, the party threw itself into protests for a number of other causes, including Defend say of the heroic black uprisings in Watts, Newark, Detroit, Harlem, and women's liberation. During the Attica prison riot, the rioters requested YAWF member Tom Soto to present their grievances for them. The WWP was most successful in organizing demonstrations in support of desegregation busing, in the Boston schools in 1975. Nearly 30,000 people attended the Boston March Against Racism which they had organized. During the 1970s, they also attempted to begin work inside organized labor, but apparently were not very successful. In 1980, the WWP began to participate in electoral politics, naming a presidential ticket as well as candidates for New York Senate, congressional and state legislature seats. In California, they ran their candidate Deidre Griswold in the primary for the Peace and Freedom Party nomination. They came in last with 1,232 votes out of 9,092. 
In 1984, the WWP supported Jesse Jackson's bid for the Democratic nomination, but when he lost in the primaries they nominated their own presidential ticket, along with a handful of congressional and legislative nominees. <laughs> Activities and organizational structure The WWP has organized, directed or participated in many coalition organizations for various causes, typically anti-imperialist in nature. The International Action Center, which counts many WWP members as leading activists, founded the Act Now to Stop War and End Racism coalition shortly after the September 11 attacks in 2001 and has run both the All People's Congress and the International Action Center for many years. The APC and the IAC in particular share a large degree of overlap in their memberships with Kadri in the WWP. In 2004, a youth group close to the WWP called Fight Imperialism Stand Together Fist was founded. The WWP has participated in presidential election campaigns since the 1980 election, though its effectiveness in this area is limited as it has not been able to get on the ballots of many states. The party also has run some campaigns for other offices. One of the most successful was in 1990, when Susan Farquhar got on the ballot as a Senate candidate in Michigan and received 1.3% of the vote. However, the party's best result was in the 1992 Ohio Senate election, when the WWP candidate received 6.7% of the vote, running against a Democrat and a Republican. The WWP and North Korea The WWP has maintained a position of support for the government of North Korea. Through its Vietnam-era front organization, the American Servicemen's Union ASU, the party endorsed a 1971 statement of support for that government. The statement was read on North Korea's international radio station by visiting ASU delegate Andy Stapp. In 1994, Sam Marcy sent a letter to Kim Jong-il expressing his condolences on behalf of the WWP on the death of his father Kim Il-sung, calling him a great leader and comrade in the international communist movement. Its more recent front groups, IAC and formerly International Answer, have also demonstrated in support of North Korea. Controversy When the WWP was playing a role in organizing anti-war protests before the invasion of Iraq in 2003, many newspapers and TV shows attacked the WWP specifically for supporting the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. Splits <inaudible> 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 In 1968, the WWP absorbed a small faction of the Spartacist League that had worked with it in the coalition for an anti-imperialist movement called the Revolutionary Communist League Internationalist. This group left the WWP in 1971 as the New York Revolutionary Committee. The NYRC's newspaper provided rare details about the internal functioning of the group that have subsequently been used by scholars as a primary source. The NYRC later reconstituted as the Revolutionary Communist League Internationalist. In 2004, the WWP suffered its most serious split when the San Francisco branch and some other members left to form the Party for Socialism and Liberation. In July 2018, the Workers' World Party experienced another schism, in which one of its oldest branches, the Detroit branch, resigned from the organization along with several other branches to form the Communist Workers' League. Presidential tickets Source Notable members Vince Copeland, actor Leslie Feinberg, author Sarah Flounders, activist Sam Marcy, author References Topic. Sources Committee on Internal Security, House of Representatives 1974. The Workers' World Party and its Front Organizations. Washington, United States Congress. Alexander, Robert 1991. International Trotskyism, a Documented Analysis of the World Movement. 
Durham, Duke University Press. Alexander, Robert 1973. Schisms and Unifications in the American Old Left 1953–1970. Labor History, 14 Fall 1973. <laughs> Further reading Roots of the Workers' World Party by Ken Lawrence, Marksmail Discussion List. January 1999. Retrieved April 12, 2005. Politics One Guide to U.S. Political Parties contains brief entry on WWP. A Clarification on Sam Marcy and Henry Wallace. Correspondence on the Early History of the Global Class War Tendency. Peace Activists with a Secret Agenda Part 3, Stealth Trotskyism and the Mystery of the WWP. By Kevin Coogan Topic. External links Workers' World Party homepage Fight Imperialism, Stand Together, youth group affiliated with Workers' World Party The Global Class War and the Destiny of American Labor by Sam Marcy New Haven, Connecticut, distributed by Revolutionary Communist League Internationalist, 1979 a foundational document of the Global Class War Tendency. The Class Character of the Hungarian Uprising, Proposed Resolution on the Class Character of the Hungarian Uprising, November 3, 1956 by V. Gray New York, reissued by Workers' World, 1959 another foundational document of the Global Class War Tendency.